Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog and this lesson is problem solving. We're going to use tables to compare ratios. This lesson should go pretty fast, you guys. This is lesson 4-4 four, four in our textbook and here's our common course strand that our awesome teachers uh, need. And, and so our question is how can we use the strategy find a pattern to help us compare ratios? And we're going to use tables in this to find the patterns, okay? Alright, so Jack makes his Arnold Palmer by mixing three parts of lemonade to eight parts of iced tea. Yummy! Jill makes four parts of lemonade to seven parts of iced tea. Did Jill, mi did, uh, Jill mix the same ratio as Jack? And we're going to use a tables of equivalent ratios to support our answers. So we're going to use this graphic organizer to help us um, answer some questions and solve the problem here. So what do we need to find? Okay, we need to find whether the, uh, the ratio that Jill used is going to be the same or equivalent uh, to the ratio that Jack or that Jack used on making the armor Palmer. Okay, I'm right here. So what information uh, do we need to use? We need to use Jack's ratio. Here's Jack's ratio, three to eight, and Jill's ratio is four to seven. So how will we use this information? Well, we're going to make tables in this lesson, tables of equivalent ratios to compare the ratios of Jack's, which is three to eight, and Jill's, which is four to seven, right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and build this table. Okay. So what we're going to do is look for patterns to determine whether the ratios of the first table are equivalent to the ratios of the of the second table. Okay, so here's Jack, 3 to 8. So what we're doing, notice this goes plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is, is 12. So here we're going to go 8 plus 8. That's going to give us 16 right there, and then 16 plus 8 is 24. And then one more, 24 plus 8, gives us uh, 32. Over here, Jill is 4 to 7, and they did this. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28. So up here, we're going to add 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus uh, 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. All right, so look at this, you guys. They both have the number 12 in the first row. Here's 12, and here's 12 right here. So the ratio on this one is 12 over 32. This one is 12 over 21. So 12 over 32 uh, and 12 over 21 are not equivalent. So notice how we circled the not equivalent right there because they have to be the same, 12 over the same number, and these are not the same numbers right here. So uh, the ratios have the same numerator and different denominators, and so Jill uh, did not mix the same ratio as Jack did, okay? All right. So explain how we can check that our answer is correct. All right, so we know that um, uh, the ratio of Jack's to Jill's, um, uh, we can express them as a fraction. 3 to 8 is 3 over 8, and 4 to 7 is 4 over 7. So we're going to compare these to a, a number that we're familiar with, which is 1 half. Okay? 4 over 8 equals 1 half, and 3 point, what's half a 7? It's 3.5, so 3.5 over 7 is equal to 1 half. Can you see that 3 eighths is less than 4 eighths, which is 1 half, and 4 sevenths right here is bigger than 3.5 sevenths, okay? So since uh, 3 eighths is less than a half and 4 sevenths is greater than a half, then those ratios are not equivalent. They have to be the same right there. Let's try another one, you guys. In Mr. Bullock's class, the ratio of cookies to students is 6 to 4. Yummy! I love cookies. I have students bring me cookies all the time. I had students bring me a whole bunch yesterday. I still have some. I'm going to have one with my cup of coffee this morning. Anyway, sorry if I'm making your mouth water there. In Mrs. Yasu's class, the ratio of cookies to students is 9 to 6. Is the ratio of cookies uh, to students in Mr. Bullock's class equivalent to the ratio of cookies to students in Mrs. Yasu's class? And we're going to use tables of equivalent ratios to support our answer. Okay, so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find whether the ratio of cookies uh, uh, are the same in each class, the ratio of cookies to students, okay? So what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the ratio of cookies to students in each class, and how are we going to do that? Well, we'll make tables again of equivalent ratios and compare uh, 6 to 4 and 9 to 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right here, okay? So let's look for patterns to determine whether the ratios in the first table are equivalent to the ratios in the second table, okay? So it's 6 to 4. So let's go across here. 6 plus 6 is going to be 12, okay? 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24, okay? Or you can do 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, okay? Here's 4 times 1. We'll do the times. 4 times 2 is 8. 
4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is uh, 16. Okay, here's Miss Yasu's class. So 9 times 2 is, is 18. 18 times 2 is, or 3 is 27. I'm sorry, did I say 18 times 3? 9 times 3 is 27. You can just keep adding 9, so plus 9. What's uh, 27 plus 9? Well, 27 plus 10 is 37, so one less than that would be 36, so it's 36. Here, plus 6 is going to be 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. Do you see any numbers in the numerator that are the same? I'm sorry, in the top row that are the same? Yeah, the 18 appears in the first row of both tables right here. Here we have 18 over 12, and look, this is 18 over 12 also. So 18 over 12 is equivalent to 18 over 12, which means that those original ratios in the table are, like, are equivalent ratios in the second table right here. So the ratios of cookies to students in Mr. Bullock's class is or is not equivalent to the ratio in Mrs. Yasu's class. It is, so we'll circle that is right there and uh, answer that question right there, okay? Hey, explain how we used a pattern to determine whether the ratios in the two tables are equivalent. Okay, well, we can see that both tables included the ratio of 18 to 12, and since the same ratio appeared in both tables, then the ratios in the first table had to be equivalent to the ratios in the second table. And tell how uh, writing ratios in simplest form can help us justify our answers. Well, remember the ratios, let's go back right here, were 6 to 4 and 9 to 6, okay? 2 goes into 6 uh, 3 times, 2 goes into 4 2 times. So if we can divide both of those by the same number, here we divide it by 2, we get 3 over 2. Here we can divide this by 3 and divide this by 3, th uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we get 3 over 2 again. So when we simplify the ratios, both of them simplify it as 3 over 2, so that's another way we can find out that those ratios are equivalent. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.